Hey piggy people, so I just wanted to give you guys an update on Annie and how she's doing. She's not going to be in this video right at this moment anyway because she's in her sleeping bag and I don't want to bother her. So if you guys didn't watch our other videos about Annie, I'll put them up in the iCard. So I kind of recommend watching those first so you know what I'm talking about. So Annie does have congestive heart failure and about a week and three days ago we started medications. First I had a Lasix which takes the fluid out from that was surrounding her heart and lungs. And then we added in Benzapril which is a heart medication to help her heart pump and work more efficiently. So she responded super well to the Lasix. It was pretty much that evening after I had given it to her where she was eating way better. But sadly, she was only eating better for about three days and then it kind of went downhill a bit. And then I finally got to pick up the heart med, so we would, were doing that. And I kept thinking to myself, oh, once I get the heart med in, she's going to do way better. But she kept going downhill. So that brings us to right now. Um, she's the tiniest I have ever seen her scary tiny but she keeps fighting and fighting so as long as she's fighting like I'm gonna keep helping her so I decided I'm gonna like I don't have my vet to call but I just decided on my own that maybe I was gonna skip her Lasix for the evening because I feel like it is taking way too much fluid out of her and just draining her completely so I'm gonna try to see if once a day is gonna work better for her because maybe her fluid around her heart and lungs doesn't fill up as fast as those Lasix are just pulling fluids from everywhere. It's just a judgment call that I decided and I will talk to my vet on Monday. But we're at a point where I was just like, it's either I'm trying that or, you know, like we're at the end of the line already. So I've mixed up some recovery food and I put some electrolytes in it and was giving her that. And actually she's perked up this evening from not having the Lasix, maybe. I'm hoping that's what it is, that maybe more fluid staying in her and she's feeling better. So she's been taking the recovery food from me very well, where before she just was picking at food, but yet she'd come out screaming at me, like looking for stuff, but you'd give her things and she'd just like take a nibble and that was it, she wasn't interested. But so far this evening, I've got her to eat quite a bit of recovery food. Then she was eating some of her hay. So I'm hoping that the Lasix was just too strong to have that often. I don't know, but we'll find out. I'll see how she is in the morning. Uh, one of the other things that I added was another heat pad. So you'll see the cord there. So I have one, a big heat map underneath where she sleeps over there. But now I have one under the hay section as well to try to keep her extra warm. And I also turned up the portable heater that I have in here up two more degrees to keep it even warmer in here. Because she is so small that I don't know how she keeps warm. So now it's even warmer in here and she's got more heat where she's going to eat and sleep. I'm trying everything that I can to help her. So if things don't improve over this weekend I think I'm going to end up calling it because I can't do it I can't watch her not be okay and if she's not enjoying eating that's obviously a huge part of a guinea pig's day then something's not right so I'm giving her a chance by hoping that it was just the Lasix were sucking out too much of her electrolytes and fluids like the fluids that she needs to be keeping in her because obviously the Lasix just makes them produce way more urine so it's going to pull fluid from wherever it has to and if her heart and lungs aren't filling up with fluid very quickly then perhaps it was sucking out fluids that are pretty important for her so we will see but like it was a big improvement this evening like she looked 100 percent better than when i came home from work this afternoon so fingers crossed that she does good through the night and seems better once again in the morning. So I'm going to keep giving her as much of the critical care as she wants. Every time she's up, I'm going to offer it for her and we'll see how that goes. Oh, it's so stressful with um, piggy problems because there's such a fine line sometimes of like 
do I call it quits or do we keep going? So she is one heck of a tough pig though. I have to tell you that. Well, you can kind of see her nose poking out there. Like insane. Like when she ran out of her bed this afternoon when I came home from work, I have never seen a tinier looking pig and it was terrifying. It just looked like she had no fluids in her whatsoever, but here she is. She was still running out yelling for me, so she looks much brighter now, so I'm hoping the fluids that she needs are staying in her now, that she didn't have the Lasix, so that she'll be feeling better. And as I said, as soon as I'm able to speak to my vet, I'm going to ask if half a dose is better, because maybe the full dose is too much even. I don't know. I've never used a Lasix before, so we'll find out. As for right now, um, I'm just happy that she's looking much better and is eating for me, which is pretty important. And everybody else is doing well. Hey, Hucky. What are you talking about, bub? Hi, sweetie. <laughs> There's Reese Bear on the couch. I don't know if you can see her. There's Miss Velvy. I see a baby. And I'm not sure where little Ray is. My assumption would be somewhere in that back part. So anyway guys, I will update you further once I figure out if Annie's doing better. Bye guys. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!